during the season you were going out in two seven two eight you but you knew this in this race you you had to be out in three zero. Um, why, why was that, you know, why, why kind of practice going out faster? If you knew in this race, you were going to be out quite as fast. Yeah. So my mindset this year has been, I need to work on my dive. So if I have a good dive, then I'm going to be up with everyone and I want to be at 15 as fast as I can, which I've tried, I tried at nationals and, um, and at our trials and then you know my stroke rates up a lot higher so i'm working a lot harder for it because i'm that that was my mindset so then my back end of my race was being affected i was i was becoming a whole lot more lethargic and struggling to finish that last 20 meters which for me my whole career is always my back end's always been my strength like that's where i've always won my races in that last 20 meters just staying consistent throughout the whole race so for me, I had to definitely reset after trials where um, I was out a whole lot faster, which took away from my back end. Um, and that's what I tried doing and working on through those relays and through the heats and through the semifinals at, at Worlds. So I was confident that if I was able to, you know, travel consistently uh, over that 100 metres at the same sort of speed, that that's, um, you know, normally the person that has the fastest back end in a hundred freestyles, the guy that wins. So that's, that's what I pride myself on and um, yeah, was able to do again. And that's what I've been training for that last, you know, that month in between trials and the major, major comp. Yeah. I mean, not only did you have the the fastest back in 50, I think it's tied for the second fastest back in 50 all time ever, <laughs> uh, which yeah, pretty pretty stout accomplishment. Um, can you can you tell me if you remember anything about that last fifty in in that hundred free final? You know, I mean, did did you uh, did you know that you were in a pretty good spot when you flipped at the fifty? Well, so I flipped at the fifty in eighth, so I was equal seventh at the wall, so pretty well dead last. But for me, I swim with my eyes closed, uh, and that again just helps me. I guess, stick to what I need to do and trust my process is almost having my eyes closed. But when I come into the turn, I open them up and I could see I was definitely in striking range of Matt Richards and the guys that were close to me. Obviously, there's a fair bit of splashing going on. So I definitely couldn't see the two outside boys in Grousset and um, Alex. Uh, so had no idea how quick they went out. Um but I think that last 50, I just, I felt energized. I felt really strong. I felt really good. I knew that I'd swam well for that first 75 meters. So that last 25 meters, I had the energy that I needed to to get my hand on the wall as fast as I possibly could. And, you know, it's always a gamble. You never really know where you are in the race um, until until the race is done and you get to look up at the scoreboard and and see what time you went and what position you've come. And, yeah, there's definitely no better feeling than seeing number one next to your name and being able to, I guess, enjoy that moment knowing that you're on top of the world and the fastest hundred freestyler in, in the entire world and getting to sit on the lane rope and um, take it all in was, I gave it the Sammy Short special. He's been doing the double Cobras all year and uh, to be able to do that and kind of pay a little bit of a tribute to him or respect to him and give, give it that one was, I thought was pretty funny and um yeah, I, I just really enjoyed my moment and enjoyed my time in that race and um, was lucky enough to get my hand on the wall first and lucky it went my way this time. I know there's been times where it hasn't gone my way and I haven't been able to get my t- hand on the wall first and I've, you know, been the bridesmaid by such fractional margins, but to be able to, yeah, finally stand on top again um, seven years after Rio was, um, yeah, it's a memory that I'll cherish for a very long time and it kind of just, makes all that hard work and sacrifice that's been over this past period uh, worthwhile. 